with Pipe Planner, we have a flexible interface to perform many different tasks with pipe networks. Take basic parameter editing. We can do that in mass on any properties we choose by simply grabbing parts from the left grid, properties from the right, and I can do simple renumbering of pipes in this example. Pipe Planner will swap parts for you if you simply change the description. If that new description is found in the drawing, it'll swap that part for you for both pipes, structures, whatever you choose. Pipe Planner is great for generating all kinds of schedules and report. Take a basic manhole schedule. We want to export this to Excel. I can choose any and all properties, rim elevations, sump elevations, I can include, include pipe in and out data for those structures or whatever other format I might need to do to meet my standards. Just about every property that is found in your pipe network parts is available to be assembled in custom reports, schedules, or whatever you choose. Now I can choose what Excel file to go to, I can create a new one, or I could add to an existing Excel sheet. I can create new sheets or add to existing, and I can separate pipes and structures on separate tabs if I wish. Another common report, a pipe depth report. If I add all my pipes from my network, I can choose the custom property you need to pipe planner, pipe depth at interval where it will calculate pipe lengths at different intervals based on options settings in the application. I can then export this to Excel again in any format I choose and to an existing spreadsheet if I choose. Another example, exporting an entire pipe network as well as hydrologic information for analyses in Excel that I can then sync back to my drawing after changes have been made to update my pipe network. In this case, I'll add all pipes and all structures and add the relevant properties, including catchment properties. So this will read catchment, so hydrology information that's connected to the structures in the drawing. I can then export this out, similar to other report types. I can then make changes that I want here. I can read this information into a separate analysis tab, which is a common way to go. But any changes that are made, in this case, some larger pipe sizes, I can run the import spreadsheet command. It will compare the spreadsheet to my existing network, find all the changes and highlight them, and then I know what is going to change. I can then import that, and everything will update.